Nearly 300 people crowded the Marinci High School gym this afternoon. Most were family and friends of Andrew, Tyler, and Tanner Skelton. It makes me feel good that, and my girls, my family, um, it's just amazing to us that there's still this much support. After a year, the family still believes the boys are out there. All this, prayer, God. I just have to. As the boys' mom, I have to keep that hope. Police haven't quit either. The town's chief, Larry Weeks, received a standing ovation for his work so far. He deserved that standing ovation. I mean, and I wanted, I wanted him to see that, yes, we as a family are still behind him. On Friday, police tried something new. They conducted a road stop at the intersection of US-127 and Marinci Road, just west of Marinci, hoping a driver saw something the year before. Just hopes of reaching out to people that were passing through the area, potentially that time last year, uh, people that maybe don't watch TV or don't read the paper, you know, reaching out to folks and maybe, maybe learn some new information about our case. Hopefully in a few days, um, someone will look at that paper that they got and say, you know, I kind of do remember something. While police and the community continues to search for clues, the boy's father, John Skelton, is facing a 10 to 15 year prison sentence. He's pleaded no contest to unlawful imprisonment and has refused to say where the boys are. Why are you still doing this a year later? It's unbelievable that a father could do this and not tell, you know, come with the truth. In Marincy, Michigan, Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.